Hello, this is a review of my new BMW 840i uh, Grand Coupe M Sport Edition. Uh, as you can see, uh, my car is parked up in my carport. Um, so uh, you, it's a little bit dark. Um, and it's a very dark and grey day here uh, on the day of recording. Um, the vehicle is painted in Dravic grey. And it has a extended merino leather interior. This is the 840i model. So this is the base model in the 8 series uh, range. There is a diesel model, uh, which uh, also features the X-Drive and the M850i, uh, which has the V8 engine. I like the style of the uh, new 8 series. Um, it's very low, sleek, um, and has also lost the uh, shark fin off the roof as well, which has been a bit of a uh, uh, common theme through uh, the BMW models. So this is the cockpit, it's got the new digital cockpit. Um, so this is all electronic, um, it's got your fuel gauge, your temperature gauge, uh, driving information, you can select either power or uh, the uh, rev counter. Um, you can see there's uh, red flashing, uh, which tells me the door's open. And on the door, you've got your windows, uh, you've got your locking, uh, you've got your uh, folding mirrors um, and other uh, things close to hand. On the steering wheel, you've got on the right hand side, the telephone and various other uh, communication uh, buttons. And there is again the uh, digital cockpit, uh, which also shows uh, the map in the center of the screen. And on the left hand side, uh, you've got your cruise control. Um, this does, as I say, you have the extended marina level, so it's got the uh, leather steering wheel and uh, plenty of leather around through the cockpit. Um, this is the uh, new touch screen, uh, uh, additional screen. Uh, as you can see, uh, you just use that like a, your normal device. Uh, you can swipe, uh, you can touch just to go wherever you want to go. Um, but it's also uh, got the regular iDrive controller in the center panel, uh, which is what I'm using here now. So those are the communication options, uh, your mobile devices, um, as with all new cars now, uh, very connected to the outside world. And there's your sat nav. And this also has the uh, traffic, um, so if there are traffic problems it will reroute automatically for you. Uh, you can set your car up in a number of different ways, number of different settings. Um, so if you want uh, some additional driving um, instrumentation on the iDrive screen, as you can see here's some uh, journey and uh, sport displays with your gravity and other bits and pieces. Your vehicle status tells you how your car is doing. Obviously my car is brand new, oh, so nothing needs doing on it at the moment, everything is green. Uh, but condition-based service will mean that if there is a problem, uh, it will come up on here. You get a check control message. Um, as I say, you can set your car up in a number of different ways. So this is all to do with your exterior lighting. Um, there's a lots of different uh, toys on here. Um, as you can see, there's uh, sort of safety. Um, uh, things built in already um, and unusually for BMW um, you don't have to go deep into the accessories list um, to actually have a well specified car uh, admittedly this is one of their top um, cars um, but uh, you say it's got plenty of toys in there and um, one of my favorite things the ambient lights uh, lots of little disco lights as you can see around the doors uh, in the center panel um, you can change that uh, to your own particular color air conditioning settings and you've got comfort entry um, but you've also got the door car uh, the door key um, so here I'm just changing it it's one thing that's been bugging me and I finally found the setting uh, to open all doors uh, as you walk up to it so comfort setting you walk up the door unlocks for you you walk away the door will lock and will also fold in the mirrors let's say there's a number of experience modes in this car um, Remember the green lights, uh, you can change those to various different settings. So uh, if you want to go to executive mode, it turns blue um, and does some bits and pieces with the air conditioning and the audio. 
uh, the expressive uh, turns the lights red. So you can choose your own particular colour if you don't want to really use any of these uh, experience modes. And the wellbeing mode um, turns it uh, sort of orangey colour. Um, so that's around the doors, around the centre console. And uh, you can do some caring car programs, uh, which I haven't investigated yet. Um, I need to go through the uh, the manual and have a look at those, but it uh, gives you various options uh, if you want to experience something different in your car. Uh, if you've got a number of different drivers, uh, you can set up your own profile and that will reset the seat settings, uh, the uh, uh, steering wheel settings and the like. Um, so this is the uh, charging tray, uh, wireless charging, just, yeah, because this is filmed in COVID my mandatory mask um, and then there's the iCar drive controller uh, the automatic gear stick um, and the automatic handbrake plenty of storage again the center panel and uh, so I've got the extended leather uh, which pretty much comes as standard uh, the full leather is an additional cost um, but I'm not quite sure what else you'd add um, as I say you don't need to go into the uh, the accessory list too deep to actually get a well equipped car. Um, the lights now uh, down by your knee are uh, all push button rather than um, having a, a, a dial as they have been in previous cars and then just again a bit of a wider view of the cockpit there for you. If we look in the rear section of the car so if you've got passengers uh, they're similarly equipped plenty of knee room plenty of head room although this is a five seater uh, the middle seat you'd have to straddle this centre console uh, but if there's only four of you in the car you've got your own little, uh, seat areas um, and you've got four zone air conditioning so uh, again you can choose your own comfort levels uh, depending on whether you like it warm or hot or, or cooler and uh, there's USB-C charging points in the back too um, so if you have a, uh, uh, yeah, a number of devices uh, if you've got kids in the back, um, they can plug in their things. Um, this is the boot, bit messy, sorry, got my shopping bags in there. Um, it does go quite deep, um, quite a narrow opening, so uh, if you want to get your golf clubs in, probably fine. If you want to get uh, a sideboard and a dishwasher in there, uh, probably not so fine. And as usual, you've got your usual uh, toolkit and first aid kit. Um, automatic shuts and lock on the boot lid see and just a very final look around the car I'm really impressed by it really glad that I made the purchase uh, well specified drives really pleasantly um, and uh, I would recommend that you check out your local BMW dealer if you're in the market for a luxury coupe car